and they serve. Serve on the way and floating to Munson. Good pass, Menara quick in the middle. Garveling's first touch is good for a kill. I grew up in Holland, Michigan. It's on the west side, right on the lake. It's super nice. It's fairly small, at least I think it's small. There's like a church on every corner. It's a really Christian community. I went to a Christian school. I played soccer. My whole family played, both my brothers, and uh, my dad was actually my coach for a couple years, so it was really big in our family. It was really competitive. Um, I was obviously the girl, and I wanted to be like all the boys. They beat on me quite a bit, but not too bad. My dad was really good about that, though. He always like included me in their, um, in their sports, too, so it was really fun. Both my parents were actually signing me up for club sports like soccer, basketball. I even did gymnastics, which is kind of shocking. I started playing volleyball in sixth grade. All my friends were doing it, so I just wanted to join the crowd and be with them, and it was more of a social thing for me. Never played before, didn't even know what the sport was really. My mom played basketball all through high school, so she was more into that. My junior year, I started thinking about it seriously, which is actually a lot later than most people, but I was just planning on staying somewhere close to home. I'm a pretty big homebody, and there's a lot of schools in Holland. I actually went to a club tournament and got talked to by Michigan State, and so that made me think that I could actually go a little bigger than just my little D2 schools at home. Played up by Munson. Here now is Menarek, quick in the middle, garbling unblocked and buried. We had gotten word on the street that she was, there was this great athlete out there. And so she, she came to our camp and, uh, and we watched her and she was so very competitive. There were some fundamental things that she needed to work on, but she was a huge athlete, a great athlete, quick, could jump high and fast, um, and had an aggressive behavior out there on the court. Uh, she really wants to win, so love the competitive spirit and drive. And, and uh, we knew we wanted to garb on our team, there's no doubt about it, as soon as we saw her. What stood out to me was the competition is super high here and I like a challenge, so that was really important for me. Um, the family atmosphere here is amazing and greater than anything I've ever seen. It's just a nice community and tough competition, so it's a lot of fun. It was definitely a culture shock. I grew up in a Christian community and this is a public university, so there are a lot of things that I was tested on and I don't know, it was just a lot different than home, but I learned a lot from it and it was a great experience. I think I came in a little shy my freshman year, but getting to know them, they kind of brought me out of my shell a little bit. I'm really just a goofy person outside of the court and kind of on the court, which I think it keeps it loose too. She's kind of an interesting mix because um, she's really one of the most competitive people, but and so she's aggressive and emotional that way and she's learned to manage her emotions because she is so very competitive. So she's managed those a little bit, but, but she's grown in terms of how do I interact and do those things because she did have more of a shy nature. Um, you know, just, I love watching players grow and Garv certainly has come a long way since her freshman year. And, um, and, and she's so much more well prepared for everything that she's doing. There's not many garbs. Uh, she physically can take over a match. She's able to change the tide of a game and in one round through the front row. Uh, she has the physical ability to uh, dominate most of her opponents and uh, she has the competitiveness to go take on that kind of a challenge. I was voted the MVP and Playmaker Award by the team. It just means a lot because it shows that they do respect me and I try to keep my head down and just do my job and it really paid off. Michigan State and volleyball in general has taught me a lot. Uh, I think the biggest thing that um, means a lot to me is work ethic. Uh, you got to keep working hard and in school and volleyball and just your social life. There's a balance that you have to find. If I wasn't at a big university like this, I would never learn the life lessons that I have with me now.